Even we're in, God is releasing something new upon the church. Because we're going to get our acts together because God is saying this is now the time and this is now the season. The whole earth wait and groan, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. God did not make a mistake that every person you now see in a position was called by God. You see, the next move of God is that God going to move no matter if we want it or not. Amen. You see, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. Now, let me release a word into your spirit. Amen. That God has given the Holy Ghost, not just a pastor and bishops. Amen. But God has given the Holy Ghost. Amen. To the entire church. Amen. I'm going to say to the church that if we don't reposition ourselves and be ready for the next move of God, God's going to find our David. Amen. You see, there were brothers that were positioned in the army of Saul. Amen. But they were not ready for the move of God. Let me say to us from the platform down that we ain't going to hinder and let the next move of God come down is about to move in the church of Jesus Christ and if God got to rise up and David was on the back side of the desert let me speak to the church position yourself for the next move of God for God gonna take the church amen the prophet Isaiah said I say to the prophets stand in the way and see for the old pathway and walk therein. But we decided we're not going to walk in it. But God said, Amen to a back home. Write the vision, the thing that the church is going through. We're waiting for a move of God. I don't want the preacher to stimulate me with your words at the expense of my intellect. I don't want to hear to slap two people and tell them I'm here. I want a real move of God that the dead will raise, that sick will be healed. Somebody say yes. That's why when Peter and John went up to the gate to pray, they saw the man sitting there. They commanded him, look at us. They didn't say, look at me. But he said, look at us. Ain't somebody silver and gold and I none such as I have. I don't have it all by myself. But look at us. We possess what it takes. Because somebody is waiting for a healing. Somebody is waiting for deliverance. Somebody is waiting, waiting for a breakthrough. My God Almighty. But look at us. We don't have time to sit at ease in Zion. Somebody shout yes. When I look at the church, every other senior saint is hopping because they're sick. Folks are dying from cancer and we don't have an answer. But Jesus Christ, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, the cripple walk, the dumb talk, and he said, greater works than these shall you do. Somebody help me. God's waiting to make another move to break you in our church. But somebody is standing in the way and not ready for the move. But I want the church to lift up your heads. Oh, he gives. He will lift them up. The everlasting doors for the King of Glory. It's about to stay here. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, yeah. to be 
Our daughters are getting pregnant before their time. Our sons are out there and we're sitting back blaming the devil. But don't blame the devil. Amen. A lot of our families have experienced young divorce and separation. Every time you and I go apart in the spirit, it affects our children. I don't matter how a man or a woman think they can divorce without affecting the children. It's the very same thing when you and I split. It affects the church. There are some saints who will never become all that they ought to be.